Hey, Kerry Sullivan here with another How to Kick Ass in Sales. And today, I'm going to be talking with you all about how to train properly so you can go out there and kick ass and break more records than anyone else out there. The Kenyans like to say, train hard to race easy. In sales, I like to say, train hard to close easy. As a professional athlete and former collegiate athlete, I can tell you right now that I know all about the importance of really going out there and training and preparing yourself. And in sales, it's the same thing, and yet most people don't do it. And then yet again, most people don't excel and really go out there and be able to absolutely crush it. And that's what I'm all about helping you do is specifically go out there and be the top of the top and break sales records. So how can you effectively train? So it's pretty simple. I'm going to explain it to you. So you get three people, right? Three people to train with. The first person that you're going to have in this training situation is going to be the person who's going to be practicing the selling. The other person you're going to have is going to be the person that's the uh, prospective clients or customer, whatever you want to call them, person being sold to, they're going to role play that out. Now, in this role playing, you want them to role play out specifically the situation that the, the seller that is practicing is getting caught up on the most. So maybe it's particular objections they're getting all the time, maybe it's somewhere in their presentation they're messing up, wherever it may be, you want them to drill and practice on those situations that are getting them all messed up in the real world when they're actually out there in the field selling, right? And then you have a third person who's the observer. And the funny thing that happens with this third person is that they end up learning the most. So that's why you have that observer there. So there's all different types of learning that's going on here. At the end of that role playing, then what everybody's gonna write, write out is what went right. What the salesperson did right in that mock situation. Number two is what went wrong right and how they can and then number three is how they can improve on that right so you have all different types of learning going on here you have the observer you have people teaching everyone's learning from each other and it's a really effective way to make things effective for learning on a lot of different levels there so that is how you do it it's training hard to close easy and make things happen that way so i hope you guys like this hey if you like this go to howtokickassinsales.com feel free to like it below feel free to ask me any questions you want on any of the social media platforms that you might uh, find me on too i'm more than happy to make you a video video and also give you a shout out so that's it me carrie sullivan signing over and out see you tomorrow Bye bye